Some would argue she is the most talented boxer, pure boxer to ever step foot inside the UFC octagon. She wants to be an MMA fighter, but her boxing is certainly her go-to. Yes, her boxing is her go-to, and it's shown in all the championship, right? She went into this UFC career a very well-rounded fighter, but it all starts with her base. It starts with the boxing base, the ability to move, the ability to find comfort in the head movement, the jab. It's almost like her head is going on a triangle. It's just never in the middle. So where you're throwing, her head's already off that, and as you throw with this overextend, she's already countering and landing her attacks. It's truly, truly a sight to see whenever she's really, really feeling good in there. Since the great Mackenzie Dern, have we had a woman with this type of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu pedigree cross into the UFC? And a lot of people are as excited as they were when Mackenzie signed several years ago. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at these women, they may not be at the same level because Mackenzie is as good a grappler as we've ever seen coming to the UFC. But you recognize that this young lady has something special, especially on the ground. But then you look at her skill set, you re realize that she has much more than just jujitsu. But boy, oh boy, if you are spending extended amounts of time on the floor with this young lady, you are constantly in danger. No, you're absolutely right, and we might see more striking out of her here tonight. But we know what her bread and butter is, and we expect her to employ that to a great success team. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Do it. All right, so here is Molly McCann. She has become a serious star in Europe and beyond, and she believes she has a stylistically favorable matchup in front of her here tonight. She believes she has the wrestling advantages. She believes she has all the advantages on the feet as well. But she said it's easy to say that with you guys. It's another thing to actually put those words into action. And there's a lot of pressure on Molly McCann with the endorsement deals, with the fan support, and everything else. Let's see how McCann responds now with a target on her back that previously wasn't there. Oh, beautiful body kick by her there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Leg kick lands. Just a slip there. Great job blocking that punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Clipped with a right hand counter. Three minutes. Big shot to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Immediately gets the underhook. She gains separation, breaks that clutch position. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of here. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land into this point. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off the face of life. Big right hand.
Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those cool punches to try to knock her out this time. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. And now some separation between the two athletes. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those... Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, she's got that Kimura locked in tight. Wow, it looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so huh. discouraging huh. for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in the submission defense. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. of not where the strike is being thrown necessarily, but where it's going to end up. Where it's going to end up. Oh! Oh, a few shots landed on both sides. How are they still standing? Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, uppercut. And landed. Oh! Three minutes to go. Well, we talked a lot about her flexibility off the top, and she's got rubber guard now. She's got rubber guard. She has options for finishes, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see very often in the UFC. Dern's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, it looked like she got that one home. Another nice strike with the ground and pound. A lot of consistency in her ground and pound striking. Now. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a choke. Oh, oh, watch the arm here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. All right, so she bails on the submission, favoring the position. Your thoughts on that? John, she had it pretty tight, but she recognized she was going to lose it. So she kept the dominant position. I think that was very smart of her. Under a minute to go. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full. Look at that, going into the armbar. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, wow. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Oh, nice. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice to by the bottom foot. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. All right, so she survives to hear the final horn. What a round it was. And, of course, that knockdown midway through nearly got her out of there. Almost got her the finish, but now she needs to reset. 
get ready to go back forward and try and secure a finish without forcing anything. It's very key that she does not get greedy. Go back and sit down at the table. Let it be set. Be patient. Have the first course. Have the second course. And on the third course, the main course, find your finish. All right, so there is the horn. So we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't right, usually right. get up right. from those types of strikes. Right. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Ooh, another nice leg kick. Oh, huge connection by her there, DC. The seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Oh! Nice straight right, Lance. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish the earlier round. Chris, Chris, Chris. Attempting a choke now. That's it pretty deep. She's got the dart choke right now. What she's got to do now, though, is be very patient if she rushes her opponent. Oh, she got up. She cleared her leg, got back to her back, and created some distance between her and her opponent. Great job. Oh, Molly Meatball getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up her oh, That's going to finish tonight. That was a slick transition. McCann's pass is denied. Oh, oh poor attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. You see her arms in real trouble. She's in a lot of trouble. It's getting very tight. than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard, and it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to the Kimura, Mackenzie Brown! Well, how about this young woman as the celebration is on? She sat down in our fighter meeting and she told us to a man, to a woman, I'm going to submit her at some point in this fight, and that's exactly how she gets it done. That's exactly how she got it done. She knew where the fight needed to be. And the moment she got a chance, the moment she got the submission locked in, she latched on that thing like you wouldn't believe it because she knew it was her chance. This is my moment to get my result. She did exactly that, got the submission win, and on to the next one.